Have you ever seen how narcissists break down when they're pushed too far? Today we're going to learn a lot about selfishness and how, when they're up against someone who can't be beat, all of their flaws become very clear. They are at a very important point right now, and things are likely to get worse slowly but surely. Imagine that teens, who are full of energy and promise, are starting their journeys of self-discovery next to people who, by the time they are mid-twenties, still haven't figured out how to work. As things stand, there are a lot of different options. Just think about what Marcus Cicero said in Naperville. People who are about to leave every Friday talk to him about how selfish people act all the time. A preparatory narcissism, from early warning signs to breaking free of the trap and building a new life, a his course on how to spot and get over narcissism, is very helpful. The best part? It doesn't cost much. We're going to talk about something different today though. Cicero's research shows that selfish traits get stronger as people age instead of getting weaker. Humans become more empathetic and kind as they grow up. Narcissists, on the other hand, tend to become more controlling, egotistical, and protective, which makes them the hero of their own skewed reality. We are going to look at seven signs that show selfishness gets worse over time, especially as people age. These are the signs you need to know to keep your health safe and stay away from narcissists. Don't miss any of our in-depth looks into how people act. Please like, subscribe, and click the bell before we start. Share your thoughts and tales in the comments, they will help us grow as a group. When narcissists have problems they can't fix, these seven key signs show what kind of person they really are. Are you all set? Let's begin. Number 1. Narcissists always have a reason for everything, but they can't keep real relationships going. They've been through friendships and broken hearts, so they can't really try to keep the relationship going. They don't want to believe that everyone else might be wrong and they are the ones having trouble. It's okay as long as they are trying to change it. When something ends, they don't ask why they bothered, they see all the wrong things in the other person. They might say, eh he was too weak for me all this time, or maybe uh, there's no time for such an insecure person of that sort. It's sad that they don't even believe in themselves. In their hearts, they know that they are to blame for their problems, but they keep lying to themselves instead of facing the truth. They get farther away from reality the more they do this, which makes them even less hopeful about any admission of guilt or change in attitude. There are narcissists who seem pretty normal at first, and some can even make you believe that they love you. But as they get older and their mental bank accounts fill up with more money, their goals quickly change. At first, it may look like he or she wants to build a loving relationship with you. But as he or she becomes more successful, his or her behavior becomes more bossy, authoritarian, and mean. The more they think about how important they are, the less love they have for each other. They start to think that they deserve everything good in the world, as if they gained it just by living. In fact though, there is no longer any love between these two people, what will happen is only bad and wrong. Second, narcissists are proud and won't admit when they're weak. Do you know anyone who cares so much about what other people think? They have a perfect idea of who they are that they must always keep. In an any way, they are like us in that they understand their flaws and their own death. To make up for it, Narcissists develop huge egos and start to think they are better than everyone else. In this way, narcissists are gods and we are just ordinary people. Even worse, they really do believe it. They are so caught up in their dream world that they can't see things as they really are. Every person has their own set of strengths and weaknesses. Narcissists, on the other hand, keep putting themselves on a higher level while forcing everyone else to believe their lies. Because they feel so bad about being human, they can't go through it. 3. They can't see what's wrong with them. Because of this, everyone is in pain. It is our own fault when we fail at love. People who are narcissistic never look at themselves and ask, oh, what does my attitude say? Could I make it better? Oh, they just couldn't understand me, is what they're really thinking, and their bossiness, you're wrong, they're right, is too much for you to handle. If someone can't look at themselves or learn from their mistakes, you don't want to live with them. Also, it's like seeing a train wreck in slow motion. 4. 
People who are narcissists lie about themselves. We all have our own stories, problems, pain, and crosses to carry. A narcissist, on the other hand, can't deal with these issues. They don't think about themselves at all, and a lot of problems that aren't coming to the surface make them angry and off balance. It's like seeing the clock hands move closer and closer to noon. They have no idea how much it hurts. This is more of an attitude than a thing they do, and it will only make things worse for them again. The rest of us are trying to get better and heal at the same time. There is a lot of difference. Every single one of us has things that we need to do. 5. The fact that they can control a bunch of people makes them narcissistic leaders from heaven. With that kind of person, everyone around him agrees with him when he has something to say. That is the stupid thing. This is what ego is all about. These people want to rule and trick people behind the scenes. They avoid people who are even slightly different from them. People who disagree or give different views are not acceptable because the narcissist can't use them. They only want people who will be loyal to them without question or independent thought. They act like any racial or ethnic group is a threat. They put limits on themselves because they are so focused on trying to control other people. Why can't they learn and get better? Not at all. Their only goal is to get a group of workers to take care of all their needs. Number 6. Narcissists like to put down other people to feel good about themselves. People will keep trying to hurt your image no matter what you say. For them to win, they have to put you on the defensive, which is pure selfishness. You will be made to feel bad about yourself little by little. Get to the bottom of it, you are a sinner, which is why everyone else is sick. So, people seem to live forever, even though they don't mind having fun at your cost. You're left desperately defending yourself as you try to explain your behavior and protect yourself. I think these silly lies, which is the worst part, yeah I've come to think these ridiculous lies. They make people think they are good because they can make you feel things. This is not right. Then the question is, who has been around someone who won't grow up? Age doesn't help people like this. They don't know anything about it because they live in their own world. Unfortunately, things get worse for them over time. There are more and more signs that the person is a narcissist. They always put the blame on others and never take responsibility for their actions. They are most comfortable when there are a lot of people watching them. They behave as if they were a comic character they made up instead of who they really are, for no clear reason. The hardest part is that they say things that are really sad. You may meet more and more of these people as you get older, especially as they get close to the end of their lives. But you should remember that it's not your job to do it. They can't choose to grow up and become responsible, even though it seems like an easy thing to do. That has to come from inside. While you can talk about your eyes and how they affect you, don't think that just because you answered will make them change. Saying, eh, that's what you do if you don't like or, which is also not a good way to get them off the hook for their actions. Den, den, den. We do all kinds of great things so that we can learn from our mistakes. Now is the time for truth. Don't worry about other people. Pay attention to yourself. These people only put on a fake front. Even worse, it won't help no matter how hard you try to be clear and patient. This means that instead of trying to change someone who doesn't want to change at all, you should work on better yourself. You are the only one who can pick your own way. The only person who can choose to dwell on bad memories or move on to better ones is you. Also, there's no reason to feel bad about going to a counselor for help or advice. If people know what makes an MMPI test produce copies, they can figure out what they said and clear the record. It could be a great chance to learn more about your current position, get ideas for how to improve yourself, and get through tough times. You can't change narcissists, but every day you can try a little harder. We have a brand new day ahead of us with a chance to make our lives better. You can start moving toward the life of your dreams right now. If we get together again, we can keep the healing going until that day.